What's up, guys? This week we're going to do a little pocket clip making here. Um, what I've got is a this is actually a Timascus clip. It's going to be a hybrid clip. Uh, so instead of being a, a fully milled and milling it out and leaving an area down here thicker to catch on the pocket, basically it's going to be it's going to be ground all the way down thin so that it can then be bent. So anyway, normally I would do this over on the mill but I've only got one of these to do. The rest of them are getting completely bent clips. So since I've only got one to do, it's honestly easier just to hop over here on the grinder and do it by hand. So I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see how I do that. So I've just got a little small, I think that's like maybe a 3 8 inch wheel on there. And so what I do first is just get in here and kind of establish my upper area to try to get pretty much as close to the screw hole as I can without getting into it. Lots of uh, dipping and trying not to burn myself too bad. Notice I said too bad because I'm going to burn myself. All right, so got that upper part pretty established. I'll still go a little thinner with it, but pretty much from that point down is going to be ground to more or less the same thickness. So now I can just go through and start hogging out some material. So it's kind of easier to do it in in bites like that. Just do it and, and cut a cut a groove into it, and then kind of move over and cut another groove into it, and then just kind of make all the all the grooves kind of join together. To and then when I get down close to the thickness, I'll actually grind it kind of back and forth like this, and you know to get a smooth even surface on it. You see, we're starting to get there in the middle now come down here like I said this is I'm not I'm not leaving meat down here on the end and trying to create the little hook because this is going to get bent so the little hook will actually get created by bending it instead of milling or grinding it in there so it just needs to go out flat like the rest of it All right, so we're getting down pretty close. I've got it thin down. I need to thin it a little bit more and kind of even it on up. So one thing that I do as I get in closer here is I start to use, instead of actually using like the point of the wheel, I use this slack part of the belt right behind the wheel a little bit, almost like a flat flatten, so that it kind of smooths it out and gives it, because it's almost impossible to, at least for me, especially on a wheel that small, to grind a flat surface like that and not have little ripples and dips and stuff all in it. So if you, this doesn't have to actually be perfectly flat. As a matter of fact, I kind of want it to have a little bit of a taper to it. So the just using the, the slack belt like that, kind of like a flat flat and works out really good. It gets it pretty smooth and there would be no way for me to hold that on, a, on the actual flat flatten the way I would need to. So. 
and I do that a lot when I'm anytime I'm working with something on the horizontal grinder over here and uh, on one of the small wheels and I get to a point where I need a, a flat surface like that or a fairly flat surface um, then that's what I'll do obviously not if it's something that needs to be actually perfectly flat but when you're just shaping and contouring and sculpting it, it usually works pretty well for that as you can see so I got just a little bit more right up in the uh, top of the radius here that needs to be cleaned up but that's a pretty pretty flat smooth surface there so I'm gonna switch over and hit that with a 220 now that was an 80 I'm gonna hit that with a 220 to kind of clean it on up some even though it's the back side we want it to still look good um, and then I'll kind of finish getting those last few little ripples out there uh, and then it'll be ready to take a couple of bends that'll get bent down and then down here I'll get the bend back up and she'll be good to go so that's how I do that uh, when I just do one at a time or something to do it over here instead of on the mill so all right guys so that's pretty much how I, how I do that if I'm doing just kind of a one-off clip like this uh, if it's more like I said I do it over on the mill I think I may have actually just shown that on here before so uh, but it's pretty easy and pretty quick to do this uh, rather than set up the mill so you guys I appreciate you watching uh, please if you have any questions or any any uh, requests for processes that you'd like to see uh, how I do them please leave in the comments uh, if you guys enjoyed watching this at all please give us a like and a subscribe and uh, share it with somebody and we're gonna keep trying to put out some of these little videos for you guys to show you some of the processes how we're doing stuff and thanks for all the support and we'll see you next week